Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Red Retreat and Yarns, LLC. And in today's video, we are going to be washing this skein of yarn. This is a two-ply, 75% Gotland, 25% Angora, hand-spun blend of yarn. It's just under an ounce. It's 0.92 ounces. And we're going to wash it up. Today we're going to use uh, dish soap. Just slightly different. Sometimes there's all sorts of different soaps you can use, but we're going to show you how we do this with dish soap. So we washed out our sink. The stopper needs to work a little better, but the first step was we washed out our sink, we undid our yarn, we have our dish soap with us, we put just a little bit in there. So the wool has been washed previous before it was spun, but the Angora has not. And we also want, through this washing process, this will set the twist of the yarn. So that's also why we want to wash it. So we just make sure the yarn is, we just make sure the yarn has, it's all wet. Our water isn't super hot. It's definitely um, just about what's normal for if you were to take a shower. Nothing scalding. We just kind of swish the, round, the yarn around a little bit. Again, this is yarn that the wool has been washed already. So, we squeeze, and if I twist, doesn't matter. You can see that the water has a bit of, just a bit of coloration in it. That's all we're gonna do. We rinse off our yarn. We want soap off, any additional residue off. And sometimes when I rinse off my yarn, I make sure the water's a little bit hotter because that makes it easier for my yarn to dry. So I squeeze it out. And my yarn is not, it isn't matted together or anything like that. And this usually I'll hang up in front of a window to dry or I'll hang up if the fire is lit, I'll hang it up in front of that to dry. Or if it's a nice windy warm day outside, a dry day outside, I'll hang it up side to dry. There's all sorts of options of what to do when you're done with your yarn, but this is just a really, really fast rinse. There's a couple different options if I wanted to now set the twist, which is I can shock it with cold water and make sure it's thoroughly saturated with cold water. Then I can shock it with hot water back and forth. That'll help set the twist gently. And of course, you know, you hang it out to dry, or if you want to do your good old fashioned thwacking where you hit the yarn against something to shock the twist into the yarn. So that's what it is. That's our video today. Just a good fast video of washing yarn. It doesn't have to be anything complex. Doesn't have to be anything um, too gentle. We just do it, get it done, and move on. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, press the bell. That way you get notified of all of our videos.